Hey guys, um, I want to record a video that talks a little bit about something I read on Facebook. One of my good friends posted and talking about his son. And for the purpose of this video, we need to change his name to John. Alright? So here we go. I'm going to start out by reading the quote. But before we go any farther, I want to mention that I am Native American from the Lumbee Tribe of North Carolina and proud of it. And so is John and his family. So here we go. Here's the original post that I read. Okay, I have John running now. He was charged, but of course there was more to the story. Alright, now I read this and I was like, what? And so I go to her, the mom's page, and I start reading her post and the comments. And in one of the comments, I find out what happened. John, John is in high school, you know, he's 16, and in high school, you have fights, and John was watching one of the fights. Now, the assistant principal comes and, you know, he clears the area. Everybody goes back to class. That's their own thing. Well, during this, the principal, assistant principal, said that he saw John lay hands on a faculty member. And so, he runs over there, of course, hauls back up, and John is putting the chair hold, you know, kneeing the back, pushing the ground, you know, and I, they're outside, pushing the ground in the dirt, you know, mud everywhere. And after all this, later on we find out that the teacher tells the assistant principal that John never laid hands on him and never never touched them, swung at them whatsoever. But he is still charged. Yes, he was charged with a crime. And I'm gonna read what was put on the ticket. You know, I got a copy of it from uh, one of my sources. And here's what it says. I need to hear. Alright. Re resist, delay, or obstruct a public officer in discharging or attempting to discharge a duty deputy whatever of his office to with and let's see I right, so basically what he was charged with I probably put that up basically he was charged with uh, resisting and interfering with an officer doing his job. Now, I said, okay, this looks real simple on the outside. But, my source is telling me that John has been harassed by the assistant principal since day one, since he got to the high school. As far as I know, you know, John's a good kid, doesn't really do anything. Now, all of this, I'm hearing 
you know, second hand. I wasn't there. I don't claim to be there. That's not really the point. The point I want to talk about is should this excessive force have been used? Okay. Now, I'm sitting here thinking that, you know, 16 year old kid accused of laying hands on a faculty member. Does he really need to be kicked in the back, shut hold, and pushed to the ground? Probably not. Okay. The resource officer came. It should have been handled properly, but no. It wasn't. On top of that, witnesses say that Johnny never laid hands on the faculty member. Even the faculty member says no hands were laid on him. But that's beside the point. The point we're at now is there are charges pending and yeah, that's where we're at. Now here's a little twist. 